Uh, lifestyle wash starts with the queen and will always finish with the queen. R roughly between April and May, she'll then leave that, that wintering place and she'll then go and try and find somewhere to, to set her nest up. That could be anywhere from a shed, roofs, um, trees, somewhere sheltered basically that they feel safe enough that they could make a nest away from predators. And what they're doing at the minute, especially this time of year, kind of June and July, is they are out foraging. They are out trying to find anything they possibly can, either to make the nest or to, or to keep feeding and, and keep the eggs ready to become more wasps. During the autumn period, wasps like to eat fermented fruit. That's when the fruit almost becomes a level of over sugary, almost becomes alcoholic. Like the rest of us, if we've had too much to drink, we don't become the most pleasant people to be around. Wasps are very similar. Wasps are yeah, very interesting social creatures, which means actually if you were to try and uh, deal with one wasp in particular, the likelihood is you're going to call more into your area uh, because they will release a pheromone which draws them in very quickly and makes them very quick to uh, aggression. Other than the generic harm that we all know of and, know and, and dis disdain, um, which for some people can be fatal, especially those with anaphylaxis, wasps mandibles have the ability to chew through uh, very strong things, like, you know, including wood, and that's actually what they're making their nest out of. So they can cause damage just by making the nest themselves. So they could be resting on things like electrical cabling, which could, you know, if they chew through electrical cabling, they actually cause a fire, which actually obviously is a much higher risk to yourself or the property that you're in. Obviously, as a pest controller, I have access to a lot more uh, equipment and uh, use of insecticides. So obviously, insecticides I use will have a, a slightly more potent effect than the ones you might buy from the shop. The other part is I have a lot of the PPE, so I wear a, a, a bee suit and, I'll, and, I've, and I'm wearing gloves and also I'll try and create a mechanical advantage that means that I am far enough away from a nest when I do treat it so that I'm not going to be in the vicinity if they decide they're going to attack. Um, during the treatment you will see 24 to 48 hours quite a lot of activity once I've treated a nest because they've basically been evicted from their home and if, if, you, you know, if you're a wasp I'm sure you'd find a reason to make some noise about it. So it's always wise, you know, while the, while the treatment is going ahead and while it's happening, if you think that you're, you're at risk of danger, remove yourself from the situation, find somewhere safe to be. For the after or post care, um, obviously we'd like you to obviously keep monitoring it for us. Realistically, you should hope to see those wasps start to die off, start to kind of dissipate, eventually nothing.